What's up guys, it's Awana Turtle, and today we are opening up some more tins just because it's been so much fun and uh, been having a lot of good luck. So today we have a, another one of the Eevee Snorlax tins, and yesterday's video uh, with our double blaze open, we forgot to open up a Burning Shadows pack, so we have two of those this time, and we're going another with one of the other Pokeball tins, um, although to be honest, I'm not familiar with this Pokeball. Uh, so if you do know what kind of ball it is, let me know in a comment just because I'm completely stumped at the moment. So lots to do, so let's get into it. Alright, let's do this guys. Starting with a pack of Burning Shadows because we forgot to do this last time. So oh, hope everyone's having a good day and reminder that tomorrow we are announcing the winner of our giveaway for a Reshi Ram Charizard tag team card. So if you have yet to enter that, go check the video from Friday. And also we are doing the same thing on Instagram as well. So make sure you're following me there and make sure you're entered. Uh, there are a couple of things that you need to do in order to enter. So make sure you do those um, and follow all the instructions. Okay, for our first Burning Shadow pack, we have a horsey, cutie fly, kind of looks like a mosquito, a Pan Sage Reverse, and then just a Ledian. Hit there, let's see, let's go with the Pokeball first. Again, I don't know what ball, kind of ball this is, but inside we have three packs. Why did I think that it was supposed to be two, but... Uh, Alright, and then I think this is the same coin we got last time, a Vulpix, which is uh, it's just okay. Put that off to the side, and let's see. Steam Siege, Sun and Moon, and then Guardians Rising. Let's go with the Steam Siege first. Uh, we've talked about these tins before. Um, Value-wise, they're actually pretty good, uh, but the not crazy about the XY pack, and the the cards don't seem to be damaged, but I'm not just not crazy about the way they're packed. Uh, although I so like there, or rather the cards that take the the brunt of the damage is not the Captivating Pokemon are not the the rare or the reverse, so I guess that's the most important thing. Um, but overall, you know, I think these these tins are pretty good. So we got a Chimchar, who kind of stole something, and then a Volcanion, another Cutie Fly, all right, we got a Metal Energy Potion. Classic card, Spinda. This is a weird, uh, weird Pokemon. Speaking of weird ones, Steeny, Cutie Fly, Dratini, Spearow, Psyduck has like a headache. Eevee, pretty good card with the Energy Evolution ability, and then a Rainbow Energy Reverse. That's actually pretty cool. And then followed by a Incineroar Regular Rare. So, so far we are getting shut out. And let's go into our last pack. Um, ah, so I feel like we're we're starting to cool off, guys, which is, uh, you know, not a good thing. But at the same time, uh, we definitely were getting consistently good hits. So uh, un as long as we don't stay in a hump for a long time, I won't complain too much. Or I'll probably complain a little bit. Aqua Patch, pretty good card. Vanillish, another strange one. Enhanced Hammer, Pancha. Ooh, I like that one. Uh, Snow Runt, Cast Form, Vanilla Light, Murkrow, and then Aether Paradise Conservation Area, and then lastly a Rayquaza, which is pretty cool, but still no Hollows, no GXs, no EXs, no nothing. Let's see, let's go into Burning Shadows and then we'll wrap up with the Eevee Snorlax tin, just because I feel like those have been treating us well, so keep that in the, keep that for last. There's a Burning Shadows code card. And let's see what we can do. All right, energy. Right, ooh, I see something shine. All right, I don't think we're gonna get shut out because I can see something at the top of the cards. Riolu, Meow, going for the walk. Vol <laughs> Alolan Vulpix, and then a Ho-O-G-X. Pretty cool art, pretty bad Pokemon, but we will take it. And now let's get into this tin. Yep, still a fan of the way this thing is packed. Still a huge fan of the GX. What is this thing called? A 
card token it's not a token it's just like an indicator of some sort big fan of how they pack this here's a code card big fan of how they pack the promo big fan of the promos it's just the uh mentioned this many times but it's just how you know all the time spent trying to hunt hunt down i guess not this alternate art but all the other forms and then here you go uh the one the one x y is x x y is becoming expected so no longer surprised so we'll deal all right there's that let's see oh no look at this you can kind of see the so I feel like there's a little bit of damage on the on the rare. Alright, let's see. Uh, Charizard Spirit Link again, guys. Can we get that Charizard? Mega Charizard this time? We got a Charmeleon. We got the Spirit Link. We got... Alright, now this stuff is uh, nothing. Full heal. And then... Oh, we did get it! Yes! Oh, so like the prophecy is finally true. We got the... Charmeleon, Charizard, Spirit Link, which are pieces of this card. Awesome. But I think that there was... I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Like, yeah, you can kind of see it right there. There's a little bit of damage at the top. So not happy about that. But I am happy about this pull. All right, we're back. We're back. The tin saved it. No big surprise there. But another solid opening for our video. Nice. Forbidden Light, I feel like we're like three for four or something so we have no 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 all right so i don't think we're gonna get a gx but still a couple things we can hit in this judge i like judge for rookie cute esper Onedge, very strange gibble nice Ooh, rcs prism star first of all prevent all effects of points them except for Damage done to this Pokemon, that doesn't sound that good. And then a Rotom. Alright, so we got a we got a Prism Star. Not a not a super good one. Alright, we got two team up packs. Let's see. Let's go with saving the Gengar. Alright, so I think every is it every team every tag team has uh, had some kind of tin box or something except for the Mimikyu Gengar. That's my understanding. So maybe there's still one more product to come out for that one, unless he's just going to be the one left out. Oh, I guess probably not. Unbroken, uh, Unbroken Bonds is right around the corner, guys, and uh, definitely excited about that. Which is kind of like why we're doing these Reshiram Charizards to kind of spread the hype. So we got the Alolan Marowak, which is always pretty cool, and then a Pidgeot. So nothing too crazy there. And we're on to our last pack. We got one more tag team card or team up pack. See if we can end with a bang. Although it's very it's already a very solid opening so far. And I guess not. Ah. Keep forgetting. Alright, we'll go fast. Fire. Drill. Oh, it's a big rock. A thick routine. Cute little. Is he a dog? I'm not sure. I think he's a dog. A clueless duck. A squirrel. Flying squirrel. A I'm not sure how to describe Jinx. And then a Graveler, the big rock with the big mustache. That is a lightning type somehow. Okay, so for this opening, we have a not so cool Prism Star in Arceus. Me, yeah, I'm being, me, yeah, I'm being too critical of him. We have a Ho O G X, Mega Charizard. Happy about that one. And then, of course, our promo is that EV Snorlax Tag Team card. Very nice. Um, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and welcome. Um, and yeah, so we do post uh, videos every day, uh, primarily around Pokemon. We're starting to do some Yu-Gi-Oh! And occasionally we'll do some Magic the Gathering stuff as I acquire some new, when new sets come out, as well as some new acquisitions in regards to my collection. Uh, so other than that, guys, thanks for watching. As always, I'm Awana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.